Hi. Okay, I have a few minutes before I'm headed out of here, so I wanted to get started on um, this laurel crown because I've been excited about it all day. Okay, so what you're going to start with is, uh, this is called floral wire. It comes about 10 to 12 inches long. So you're going to need two. Oh, darn it. Okay. Um, so you're going to want to like make an X, um, with just like the very uh, tops and then uh, cross them over and then just start winding them around each other because this is all gonna be the base of one long crown. Oops, I think I wanna go this way. Am I doing this right? The computer keeps Switching screens on me, so I don't know. Okay, so um, once you have those two pieces together, I'm going to measure. And I'm actually doing this for my son, so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger out. Um, uh, not that much bigger, maybe like this. And. Um, He's got bigger hair too, so keep that in mind if you're doing this for someone else and you're measuring on your own head um, when you're figuring out how big and how small to make it compared to your head. Okay, if you're doing this for a small child, like a kindergarten graduation or a preschool graduation, which would be really cute, um, I, I don't recommend going this route with the floral wire. It's pretty pokey and um, there's actually a couple of really fun activities you can do to make a floral crown with construction paper or um, and or um, dried bay leaves and that's something that they can help with and it's a great fine motor development um, activity so I recommend doing that and I will um, show those variations or at least tell you how to do it on the blog. Okay, so this, yeah, this is nice and big on me, so I think it'll fit over my son's um, head and curls quite well. Tomorrow we're going to wrap this in floral tape and that's going to help take away the pokiness and um, also help reduce hair getting snagged. If you don't have floral tape, you don't have to do that piece. It is kind of tedious, but it makes the best uh, crown and it makes the most comfortable crown. Some other variations that you can use, you can use fishing wire to um, put the bay bay branches onto the crown. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but if you want to gather your materials now, um, you can use fishing wire, you can use floss, um, any kind of thread really, like a strong thread. So before I, when I was looking for the floral tape that I know I have, but I just, um, I can't find, so I had to order some more. Um, but I found this uh, metallic elastic cord don't know why I have this or um, what I used it for, but found this and not the floral, oh, floral tape. So that's what happens sometimes. And I might actually use this um, after the floral tape to actually put the, um, the bay branches on here, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so more tomorrow. Thank you.